Have you ever played an FPS where the main character you play as does not use a gun? This is the driving idea behind RoboSwap. In RoboSwap, you play as a character that has the ability to take control of their enemies and use them to accomplish objectives and defend themselves against the hordes of enemies they will have to face. While I have been developing this idea, there hasn't really been a main theme to speak of. I like the idea of using robots that you hack into, but it could be mind control, possession, or anything similar to that. While I don't have a full theme developed, I do have some interesting mechanics in place. My main mechanic is a simple one that has been in more than a few games at this point. Games like Mindjack, PsyOps, Dishonored, and many, many more games have used the feature of mind control. What makes my idea so special is that the player does not even carry a weapon and are physically unable to fight. They have to take control of their enemies to fight for them. But they are not just for fighting. Some can be used to solve puzzles and accomplish tasks to progress forward. To help the player, they will also be able to modify their enemies as they leave their bodies. The player can make them freeze in place for a set amount of time, or they can just kill them as they leave. There will be large tank enemies that have large guns, move slowly, and are strong enough to pick up a variety of objects. There will be extremely fast enemies that are light on their feet but don't pack a lot of punch. The extremely tiny mouse-like enemies that can explode, jump, and fit almost anywhere so the player can take over them to get into small vents and interact with a variety of buttons. And finally, we have just like the basic first-person shooter enemy. They can move around, they can shoot, and they can interact with objects, but that's just about it. With these four types of enemies alone, the player has a variety of options on how to handle combat. Do you want to play as the tank and deal a ton of damage but move slowly? Do you want to be fast and nimble but not do a ton of damage? Do you want to be the mouse enemy and just scurry in and blow up and do a lot of damage? It's up to you. Besides basic combat, I'm planning on adding in some light puzzle solving that will eventually require the player to combine all of the skills of their enemies to progress. For example, you can use the heavy enemy to hold up a box that was blocking a time door so that the fast enemy can run through and turn off the timer. Or a different version of a similar situation where the heavy can hold up a box for a tiny enemy to jump up so they can reach a different area. You can even freeze the tiny bomb enemy and have a different enemy come over and pick up the tiny enemy and throw them like a grenade and have them explode. There are some risks I foresee happening while developing RoboSwap. While I don't see taking control of enemies as too much of an issue, but trying to balance them out as opponents and playable characters will be a bit tough. Making the main character feel useful also seems like a bit of an issue. I want the player to protect their main playable character without it feeling like the main character is a burden. Maybe giving them some abilities will make them more useful and important to the player. And designing more interactions between the enemy types will also be a challenge. I will have to make a set amount of rules that each enemy follows that can mingle and match between all the other enemies to make some really interesting puzzles and really interesting combat scenarios. And overall, I do think RoboSwap is a game brimming with potential. This is just a small taste of what I think is possible with this idea, and I will continue to develop it as time goes on. Thank you for watching this presentation and have a great day.